We look over here to our Sounders. This is where we kind of hit the bad beats kind of section. Uh, the Sounders played two games over the past week, uh, September 27th at home versus FC Cincinnati, drawing with FC Cincinnati and effectively a must win. You know, a draw would be fine, but it makes things the ever the more important going forward. Player of the game, Freddie Montero playing in a sort of center attacking mid position, one goal, 82% passing, four total shots and a 7.8 match rating. Freddie scores his 76th career goal in a Sounders uniform, the most ever in the MLS era, and draws the game up so that Seattle actually has that opportunity to have a draw. Um, and then October 2nd at Sporting Kansas City, a one to nothing loss. The loss officially eliminates the Sounders from playoff contention. The first time they will not make the playoffs in their 14-year existence in the MLS uh, the club's 13 year run was the second longest active streak across the five major men's professional sports leagues behind only the Pittsburgh Penguins current streak of 16 seasons. Uh, just disappointed. <laughs> not, yeah, mean, not much you can say there. We've been saying this for months now, let alone weeks, right? You know, if you heard me talk about the Sounders team, they never really put things together. I know it was really interesting uh, a quote from Captain Nico Ladero after the loss was basically, there are hundreds of ways. I, I'll get the official quote, but he did not seem really pleased. Um, it just seemed like generally there was no sort of, there was frustration within, and that makes a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, just overall, it was a really disappointing way to look at things, uh, the way that it all played out. Um he said there, Ladero said there are many mistakes that happen at the player level, the coaches level, and at the club level. CCL covered up many of these mistakes, but what happened will hopefully help us recover from these things. Really, really interesting. Yeah. Um, it's the first time in Sanders history that they'll be involved in a game with literally zero potential playoff implications. That's just so. I mean, yeah. the point was made that all streaks like this will come to an end eventually. But just considering the way that things took place, just the lack of the ability to finish, lack of much cohesion in the midfield at points in the time, dropping games like against Chicago that I was that that you shouldn't have lost. You know, just really disappointed that it didn't come through. I know at the beginning of the year, even before CCL, the talk was that this one might be one of the deepest rosters in MLS mm -hmm. history. And then it's just it played out like uh, I forgot what what year that was. Uh, I think it was like 2000 something. The Eagles put this roster together and it was like, is this the best? Are they going to win the Super Bowl? And then they they fluttered out. You know, it's it's it doesn't matter if you can't build the chemistry and all that. But, you know, you can only put together so many pieces and have them gel together at some point. You know, just because you're the best, you've got so much talent doesn't mean you're going to work together as a team as well. So, um yeah, just really disappointing to see all this happen. But, I mean, I kind of feel like we knew this was coming. I feel like this was sort of an inevitability. You would have needed to win out, and you would have needed outside help. And you didn't get either of those things. So, just really disappointing. I mean, we'll look back at the season next week. But, overall, just disappointed. I don't I, That's how I can put things. I mean, do you have any thoughts on that, that streak ending and – the way that this played out because obviously again we've seen this kind of taking place over the last yeah. few months i don't think we anticipated it at the beginning i know it, everything started off on a high i mean rusnak signing and then of course ccl championships and and then recently in the coming weeks it was like every single time that we talked about sand sounders it was this game is a must win this game is a must win and i think we were we would come back the week after and still be kind of disappointed because they'd either draw or lose and so I think mentally we were preparing ourselves, but it doesn't make it any easier. Um, it's still a, like you said, streaks end, but it's still a tough pill to swallow. So hopefully they rework things and come back better. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of all you can hope for is that you're able to look at these mistakes and just build from it. You know, there's nothing now you can do about it. So yeah, we clung on to the mathematical uh, possibility for a while there, but mm -hmm. 
you know. Uh, an injury-related news on the 27th, Raul Rui Diaz was hurt while on international duty. A Salvadorian defender fell on Rui Diaz's ankle. Uh, Rui Diaz attempted to play through it, but had to ask for a substitute before the 10th minute of the match even started. So disappointing all around. Tough week, tough week. There is still one game to be played. Uh, the Sounders set at a 12 win, 17 loss, four draw record. They are 11th in the Western Conference at 40 points. Their next matchup, the final game of the MLS regular season, is at home, thankfully. October 9th versus the San Jose Earthquakes with a 2 p.m. Pacific time start time. Hopefully, Seattle can end things on a more positive note. 